In this video, I want to show how quickly you can set up DEX. Okay, so I have a USB-C right there with a HDMI, a USB connector, and a power USB-C connector. I'm going to plug this in to the USB-C I'm sure someone's going to give me a bad comment about how this looks so unprofessional. I'm sorry, I don't have the fancy stuff. All right, as soon as I plug it in, Dex wants to start up. Look, there's the TV screen. It says, start me up. Cl click continue. Click start. And Dex is starting. Now, on the tablet... It just looks like the same tablet on the screen it's dex all right so how do we control this all right i have the usb um, dongle for my logitech keyboard over there but we can control it without that first by going right here it says use your tablet as a touchpad touchpad okay i'm gonna move it around Don't show again. All right, now let's set it up to automatically connect perfectly every time. So what we do is we go into go into our Dex settings. Ooh, that's over here. What Dex Dex Labs? Force apps to resize. Yes, please. Okay, let's do one more thing. Okay, I'm going to double tap that. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll just hold it down. Okay, so I'm going to set it to auto start when HDMI is connected. I'm not going to set it to auto start when book cover is connected because I prefer not doing it that way and screen resolution let's look at the capabilities okay doesn't want us to go into uh, WQHD which I'm fine with that because honestly the full HD is is quite nice okay now I'm using two fingers to scroll so you see the other areas are blacked out. And it's probably because of the uh, adapter that I have. Because the cable is definitely 4K. Okay. Let's scroll down here. Because I want to get to audio. I want the connected TV to be the default for audio. Alright. This, I want to show you why I have chosen not to keep my pixel slate and take it back. Let's see if I find Chrome. Okay. Now, I want a full desktop experience. So, let's open up YouTube. Now, it opens in, in a mobile However, I can change that to a desktop interface. And I have the ability to use YouTube in the Chrome browser and even click something, watch a video. Okay, apparently I didn't set up perfectly. Because I hear sound coming from my uh, my tablet. So, oh, I remember where it was at. We go right. It's right here. Scroll. Okay, it was in the quick panel.
<laughs> sure, someone's going to give me some nice comments on this. Right, let's go back. Okay. Default audio play through connected TV or monitor by default. Turn that off, turn it back on. Exit out. Okay, still playing through my tab. So what I want to do now, I'll pause this. I'm going to go back to my tablet. And I'm going to change it in here. Hold down the sound button. Nope, that wasn't it. Pause. 